Welcome to Jessica Stories. This is your Sabbath thought. These thoughts are short and heavily influenced by the Come Follow Me program created by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. My hope is that these short messages will prepare your mind and heart for tomorrow's Sabbath worship. Hello, beautiful friends. Today we are in Alma chapter 32. This is a very popular chapter of scripture and it's for good reason because it's filled with so many nuggets of awesomeness and I wanted to share one that I hadn't picked up before. (laughs) Isn't that the truth? We read these scriptures over and over and yet there's just still so many nuggets in there. I love it. So in this chapter, we're talking about faith. Alma is teaching us the principles of faith and what faith is and what it is not and how faith can bless us and how we can grow and develop more faith. And he relates faith to being like a seed. And if you plant a seed and nourish it, it's going to grow, right? But if you just leave it there, it's not. It's not going to take root. It's not going to grow and then produce fruit, but it needs this nourishment. And then he goes to talk in 35 about my favorite topic. And if you are new here, my favorite topic is light. I love talking about light. Makes me so happy because it's so transformative. And he teaches us some principles about light. So let's let's start in 34 and then we'll go into 35. So in 34, it says, And now behold, is your knowledge perfect? Yea, your knowledge is perfect in that thing and your faith is dormant. And this is because you know. For you know that the word hath swelled your souls and ye also know that it hath sprouted up that your understanding doth begin to be enlightened and your mind doth begin to expand. So this is what happens once you've grown your faith. Once you've nourished it, you start developing enlightenment and knowledge. And then in 35, he said, Oh, then is not this real? I say unto you, yea, because it is light and whatsoever is light is good because it is discernible. Therefore, ye must know that it is good. And now behold, after ye have tasted this light, is your knowledge perfect. And then he goes on to say, Nay, neither must ye lay aside your faith, for ye have only exercised your faith to plant the seed that ye might try the experiment to know if the seed was good. And then he goes on to say, nourish it with great care. And I love this this system that he's given you. He's given you a framework that if you want to know if something is true, then you nurture that thought, that idea, that philosophy, that principle, that truth. You nourish it. And as you nourish it, if it swells within you, if it adds enlightenment to you and expands your mind, you can know that it is good that it is right because it's adding light to your life. And what do we learn in Genesis? That God is light. If light is coming into your life, you are receiving God. He is there with you because he is light and he made light. And that light will help you discern what else is true. (laughs) And so in the grand scheme of developing a testimony of Jesus Christ and his gospel, it is essential for us to nourish our faith so that we may receive the light. And it is through the light we have the power to discern greater truths. And that is one of my favorite things. And I love that I discovered it because I have never recognized this before in this chapter. I hope that you discover something new as you read this week. Jesus said, come follow me. Take my yoke upon you. You can rest from your labors if you let me walk with you. Come follow, come follow, come follow me today. I will lead you and guide you if you follow me.